Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my Law Workshop. Came out in the shop today to do a demonstration of a tool from King Arthur Tools, and it's called the Guinevere Flexible Finisher. And it seems to have some great applications for uh, scroll saw users, and also it would be great in any uh, craftsperson's workshop. So I'm going to do a demonstration for you here today and give you an idea of uh, how flexible this system actually is. I purchased my uh, Guinevere Flexible Finisher from Woodcraft, and I purchased uh, the base motor and two kits for it. Now the base motor is a one half horsepower 3600 RPM motor uh, with two keyed chucks on each end. So you can put uh, a sander on one end and the flexible shaft on the other or sanders on each end. The base motor comes uh, with the motor, the two chucks, and the keys. I also purchased the basic sanding kit. Now the basic sanding kit comes with uh, two of the uh, air filled uh, rubber drums that you attach the sanding sleeves to. It comes with the pump and it comes with a cleaning stick and a couple other accessories you'll need. So I purchased that. I also purchased, and I think this is a, uh, a real good accessory that's worth buying with the kit, and it's the uh, 51 inch flexible uh, shaft and uh, very handy. You can attach it to one end of the motor and it lets you move your sanding away from the motor. Here's the base motor with a keyed chuck on each end. Both chucks are uh, will accept from 1 16th to 3 8 inch shafts. Uh, as you can see the base motor is very small, has an on off switch on the front, it's reasonably quiet. Don't let its small size concern you though. This thing is packed with power. Um, I've had it for a couple days now and it seems to just do a, a great job of not bogging down uh, even when I'm applying pretty reasonable pressure to the uh, drum sanders. Uh, so that's the base motor and now we'll move on to some of the accessories and uh, how you can set this thing up. Oh, Also you can see I went ahead and uh, attached, it does come uh, with suction cups on the bottom of it. I didn't find those adequate to hold it as still as I wanted. So I went ahead and mounted mine to a shooting board and I just throw it over here on my workbench with a couple clamps and it's good and secure. I purchased the basic sanding kit extra uh, from the base motor and this is what comes in it. Uh, you get two drums. Uh, this, the drums are inflatable so you can see they're very pliable and you actually uh, put the sleeves over these inflatable drums and pump them up and that's where you get your uh, flexibility out of the sander when you're doing uh, intarsia type work or other type of work where you need to round over the, cur the corners. You also get uh, what I'll call a bull nose for lack of a better word uh, drum and a little round drum and it has these little round sleeves that fit over it which are absolutely great for sanding inside of bowls and uh, small boxes and stuff like that. It also comes with a uh, uh, abrasive cleaner uh, to clean, clean off the abrasives when you get done. It comes with a Allen key to release the air pressure out of the round drum. It comes with uh, four grits of uh, sandpaper for each drum. It, they run from uh, 60, uh, 120, 180 to 320, uh, which basically will give you everything you need to run through your grits. And uh, it's pretty simple to put together. You take your sleeve uh, with the drum deflated, slide the sleeve or the, the sanding paper over the sleeve, and then you just take your pump. Now this is where uh, the first couple of times I tried it, it actually was a little bit of a challenge. But you basically just stick the drum in there and hold it with one hand like this and pump. Now the book says two pumps at the most is enough. Um, the first time you fill them up, it takes a little more than that. And when you get done uh, filling them up, you don't want to have too much flex, but just enough to hold the sleeves in place. So if the sleeves start wandering on you while you're uh, sanding, then you don't have enough inflation in them. And uh, when you go to release the air pressure out of this, you just take your Allen wrench and you turn this nut on this end and squeeze and it'll take the air right back out. Then you can remove your sanding sleeve and put on the next grip. The uh, round drum is a little different. It's got a nut here. You just loosen this nut, squeeze on the ball, and you just kind of wiggle this shaft and you'll hear the air pop out of it. And Then you can remove the grit. When you go ahead and get ready to put the, the sanding paper back on the ball, you go ahead and slide it on with it deflated and there's a little nipple right here that will stick through the top and you want to line that up. Then you can tighten the nut down, get it good and tight, 
And the same thing with the pump. You just pull the pump out, hold both pieces with one hand, and inflate. Okay, that's it for that kit. Now we'll move on to the next kit. The next accessory that I bought for the drone is the uh, flexible shaft. And to me, this uh, really sets this system off as being a great tool. Um, it lets you move away from the motor to be able to do your sanding. Uh, the flexible shaft is 51 inches long. It will key up either one of the, the two uh, drums that you have that come with the basic sanding kit. Now, none of the drums come with the flexible shaft, so you have to have the basic sanding kit to have the drums. Okay? So you can chuck up either one, let you move away from your project or from the motor to work on your project. Three, two, one. Here's the uh, Guinevere flexible finisher set up with the uh, bulb sander in one end and the long sander in the other. Now, this sander is what comes with the basic sanding kit. There's also uh, two other uh, sanding, uh, long sanding uh, drums that you can buy. And uh, I purchased this system at Woodcraft and they didn't carry anything but the basic sanding kit. So I've got an order in for the two longer sanders because I want to use this for some intarsia work. And uh, this drum is just not quite big enough for what I want to do. So I'm going to get the longer uh, tube. So this is what it would look like if you didn't buy the flexible shaft and how you would set it up. And uh, I'll go ahead and put the flexible shaft on now and show you the configuration that I think I like best. Okay, if you purchase the basic sanding kit plus the flexible shaft sander, uh, this is the setup that I find the most convenient. Uh, you do have to install the flexible shaft on the right side of the motor, and it shows you with a little diagram how to do that. So once you get it set up, then you've got this flexible shaft that you can move anywhere uh, that you need to. And I find this great for sanding the inside of bowls, and I'll take you through uh, uh, how I do that on a project that uh, we did here at the Scroll Saw Workshop some time back. 